If you really think that renewable energy can't very quickly, in fact, within only a matter of years, replace fossil fuels, then you need to watch this video. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Patreons, thank you guys. Really appreciate your support. It means a lot. If you want to become a Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. YouTube members, really appreciate you guys too. By the way, YouTube members do get access to one video in advance per day. If you want to be a YouTube member, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you'd like to come to the fully charged live shows this year, they're going to be all around the world. I'll be at some of those shows. I'll put some links in the description below to those as well. Now, Facebook. If you use Facebook, you can join our Facebook group. I'll put a link in the description to our Facebook group. We've got a few thousand members there now. Lots of them are contributing some really interesting stuff. It's absolutely worth checking out. If you want to buy stocks and you're in Australia, New Zealand, the UK or Brazil, you can get a free stock if you use my promotion code on the Stake app. I'll put that code in the description. Here in Australia, solar energy at a commercial scale has increased 18 times in four years by a factor of 18 in four years. If that happened again over the next four years, there'd be enough solar energy to import another 20 million people to this country and give them all the power that they need. Basically, there is so much power here in Australia from solar being deployed commercially, and not only commercially, but also in residential roofs, that the output is absolutely staggering. The output of large-scale solar farms has burst through 5,000 megawatts for the first time on Australia's main grid. This is a milestone given it represents an 18-fold increase over the peak output of big solar in only four years. So the output of large-scale solar in Australia has increased by 18 times in four years. That's Well, that gives you a good idea just how quickly this can happen. Now, it's said that here in Australia, by 2030, we will hit 92% renewables over the entire country. We're looking at seven years until we hit 92% renewables. If we can do it, so can your country. The new record of 5,247 megawatts, or 5.25 gigawatts, was reached on Friday, November the 22nd, and was a big leap from the previous peak of 4,934 megawatts set a few weeks earlier. RenewEconomy.com says large-scale solar was contributing 19.1% to the total generation on the national electricity market, although it was little more than half of the estimated output of rooftop solar at the time, which was 10.3 gigawatts or 37% of total generation. We have a significant portion of this country that can run when the sun is out on about 70% solar. That's crazy. The biggest contributors to the total by state were New South Wales, 2.1 gigawatt, Queensland, 2 gigawatts, and prices were in positive territory in every state, which meant that few, if any, solar farms were curtailed for economic reasons or customers trying to dodge negative pricing events. Basically, what this means is that solar farms are commercially viable, much more commercially viable than coal or gas. In early February of 2018, the maximum output of utility scale solar across the entire NEM was just 281 megawatts, when little more than a handful of large scale solar farms were in full production. The number jumped over the next two years in the scramble to meet the renewable energy target and has continued to grow enormously since then. This has been mostly driven by targets here from local governments, and by corporate demand. Although new data shows the lowest number of new projects reaching financial commitment in five years, we're still on track to hit new records over the summer this year. Now, Australia's biggest solar farm, the 400 megawatt Western Downs project in Queensland, as well as the Wooluga solar farm and the Port Augusta Renewable Energy Park in South Australia will come online soon and all are expected to reach full capacity early in the new year. Here in Australia, we're going to hit records with solar generation for many, many months to come. And that's one of the key reasons why more batteries are being installed here in Australia than many other countries around the world. 
yes, you guys in the US, you're installing massive amounts of battery capacity. If you're not aware of that, you've got to watch this channel. I'll keep you guys updated on some of those battery projects. Here in Australia, we're doing the same thing. Enormous battery packs being deployed, some of the biggest in the world. What for? To store all this solar energy for when the sun isn't shining. In regards to Australia's largest solar farm, the 400 megawatt solar farm, which forms part of a $600 million Western Downs Green Power Hub is nearing completion with testing works underway. The company building it had this to say, a major milestone has been reached on Australia's largest solar farm under construction with the project now able to export more than 100 megawatts of clean energy into the nation's electricity grid. When complete, the Western Downs Green Power Hub, which will also include a 200 megawatt, 400 megawatt hour massive battery, will produce more than 1,080 gigawatt hours of clean energy per year. That's enough electricity to power 250,000 homes. The solar farm, largest of its kind in Australia, will be able to generate enough power for 250,000 homes and approximately 700,000 people. Massive solar farms like this are being used all around the world. One of the key reasons why they're being used all around the world is because, guess what? Yes, it doesn't matter if you want to argue about this because I know some of you do and some people don't, but some people do. The reality is solar and wind generation are the cheapest forms of energy. Yes, storing that energy does cost more money, but remember the cost of storage is coming down. More and more technologies are coming on board that we can use to store this energy. And we only need around four hours of energy storage on average. That's the period when there's not enough wind or there's not enough sun, and then we need the battery packs to deploy that energy. But the reality is four hours of energy storage isn't all that much, and the cost of energy storage is coming down. For example, Tesla's new mega packs are cheaper than they've ever been before, plus they're safer and much less likely to catch fire. They now use lithium ion phosphate cells from CATL, which will give you at least twice, maybe three times as many cycles as the old Tesla Mega Packs. This is one of many innovations hitting the energy storage market. You know what? The world is actually improving drastically. We just don't hear about it. The news just reports nonsense. They don't tell the true full story. And that is that amazing projects like this are happening all over the world. Solar energy is being deployed at a rapid rate. Don't listen to the naysayers. They're just naysayers and they never really achieve anything. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.